What's up, Beach Bums? The wife and I are out and about today doing a few different things. We had to go to like the post office, had to get some coffee, had to go by the UPS store, which is where we get all of our mail. So uh, I also have a fishing trip tomorrow, and I'm debating on location. I always try to pick the location based on, you know, kind of what's happening at the time. And I haven't been around the Fort Morgan area in about a week so I'm driving out here just to check the water conditions uh, was pretty muddy earlier this week from people that I talked to so just checking it out for myself to see if I think it'll be okay for tomorrow also I needed more rod holders on my beach cart so I picked up this uh, rod holder deal from Academy and I saw a guy that I took fishing his name's Jim Richard shout out to you he had some rod holders just like zip tied to his beach cart so that's kind of where I got the idea um, because we're kind of in a transitional phase of fishing right now where yes we can still catch pompano but that heavy heavy run is kind of we're kind of on the back side of that now so we can still catch pompano but not as numerous but we are starting to see some speckled trout and some flounder and some more redfish different things that we need to throw some lures for so I take more rods when that's happening more you know different options to throw at these fish in case we do have those opportunities so i need to take like you know eight rods with me when we go fishing so i needed some more holes but anyway i'm going to walk out on the beach and we'll check the water conditions we'll i'll show it to you and i don't know if i'll fish here tomorrow or not i just needed to see what it looked like around fort morgan the water i don't know how well you can tell it does look pretty good it's a it's a little dirty but it's it still has some green and blue tint to it so that that's good i don't mind it like this so that looks okay and obviously it, it could be completely different tomorrow this doesn't necessarily mean this is what it'll be like tomorrow but we don't have any rain moving in the winds are supposed to die down tomorrow and i think we've got even a little bit of a north wind but it's like two to five miles an hour supposedly tomorrow so i don't think conditions are going to be much different so i can pretty much guess that it's it's most likely going to be like this so th this is this is good La last time i fished fort morgan it it was extremely muddy extremely dirty so which is no good we were just catching a bunch of catfish so i definitely would not have come out here tomorrow if it looked like that but this looks pretty good so i'm gonna walk down to the water i'm gonna check and see if i can see any seaweed and stuff because i did run into some of that last time i fished here too so just trying to get an idea on this location just to see you know if it's worth coming out here tomorrow or if i need to go to gulf shores or orange beach or perdido you know I always try to make these decisions before I take somebody fishing to know what's going on. It looks like there's even some cleaner water deeper beyond this first bar. Here in Fort Morgan, the bar is a lot closer to the beach and it looks like the water is actually pretty clean on the other side of it. So I think, I think we'll be okay out here tomorrow and i just i think that there's more opportunities out this way uh than than in other areas of the beach right now so i don't know if again if i'm going to fish this particular beach but just somewhere around fort morgan uh you know usually this water color is pretty much the same most of the areas unless you're real close to mobile bay usually it can get kind of dirty sometimes there but i think it'll be okay tomorrow I need some diagonal cutters for my zip ties. I'm, I've rusted out my last two pair in the, in the water. These are only $1.87, so I think I'm gonna go with these. I don't need anything fancy, I just need to cut these zip ties. Does anybody know where zip ties might be? <laughs> Walmart's so huge, we don't know where to go. It's like an ambiguous item. Ambiguous? Or, is that the right word? <laughs> ambiguous? <laughs> an odd item? I don't know. We're in the that's really hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not asking for help. We're going to find it ourselves. We're around the tools and home stuff, so it's got to be around here somewhere. I have a good feeling. Courtney has found the zip ties. She located them before I did. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Zip ties is what we're looking for. I think we have found a winner. I'm going to go with the ones that are $3, $2.97. Hopefully, this will hold it on there pretty good. So I'm back at the garage, which this is the place where I filmed my very first YouTube video. So it brings back memories of loading my cart. If you haven't seen that video, it sucks. It's terrible, <laughs> but I'll put a link to that 
in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but I, I did a test run here. I went ahead and attached this rod holder. Let me show you what I've got going on here. So I just used five zip ties here and I've got two on top, two on bottom, and then one around the center. Um, I tested this out and the issue that we've got right now is this, uh, the bottom here, I'll point to it, the bottom is too low. So when I'm rolling the cart, um, it touches, which is fine, that's okay. But the the rod butts hang out, uh, you can't see, they hang out lower than they, like, they stick off the bottom. So I'm gonna do a couple of things to try to remedy this issue. I'm gonna try to bring the rod holder up on the cart. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit higher if I can with zip ties. And then I'm also going to put a zip tie, I think, Whoops, sorry, just <laughs> knocked the camera. I think I'm gonna put a zip tie around the top here to keep, because you know, with this slit here, like the rod falls down in it. So anyway, it hangs lower. So I'm gonna do a couple, those two things and see if that will fix my issue. So we'll see. Okay, I think this will work. I think I can just seriously just slide this up. I think I can put that zip tie, that first one to kind of hold it in place here around this portion here and it'll kind of hang on that. And then I can secure it with these other two. So I think that'll work and that definitely gets it up a lot higher. And I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll cause any other problems for anything. There's a plane flying over, so I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> but I don't think that'll cause any other problems with the stuff in my cart. All right, let's test this out. See if uh, see if that'll work. Hopefully, it'll keep those rod butts from dragging the ground. All right, it looks pretty good to me. We are pretty good uh, getting down here on the ground with it. Let me get this tripod out of the way. Sorry for the shakiness. It's hanging down just a little bit below the butt of that cart, but I think. I think we're gonna be okay. So, uh, we did get, this worked. Uh, I, I just used the zip tie here just so that this wouldn't fall down so it's not as low. And I, and I raised this up from where I originally had it. So I think, I think we're golden. I'm gonna do a walk test here and see if it'll work. All right, guys, I think we got it. Ready to roll. We got three more rod holders on there and it cost me like 25 bucks. <laughs> so not too bad. Uh, well, if you need to do something like this yourself, um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It's on there good. Looks like it should hold up. Obviously not the most ideal. There are carts that have more rod holders that uh, you know I can go buy, but obviously they're expensive. So I'm trying not to spend that much money to go buy a whole brand new cart just yet. So I'll get by with this as long as I can. But guys, I appreciate you watching the vlog. And as always, you stay.